la 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 Hello class 4, this is lesson number 2 of our online lessons on YouTube. So, in lesson number 1, I gave you this very short homework. You have this, these exercises here on pages 32 and 33 on the story garden 4. So, let's correct it very quickly together. I don't know if you can see it. Mm, not so well. Well, so I tried to read it for you, but very quickly because the exercise was easy. I think very, very easy. So Kensington Gardens, very nice, a very nice park in London. If you go to London, I suggest you to go there. It's fantastic. There is a boat. Well, it's a ship like this. It's fantastic. You can climb all over there and play. It's full of animals. Very, very nice. Okay, so they are one of the Royal Parks of London. The park is the setting of the book Peter Pan. And it's full of magic. You cannot see it, can you? Well, maybe so. It gets easier, you see. Here you can find the Peter Pan bronze statue. It's one of, uh, it's 100 years old. On the statue you can see, uh, I cannot see it from here, squirrels, okay, squirrels, rabbits, mice and fairies. If you point your smartphone at the statue you can see Peter alive. And that was exercise number one. Let's have a look at exercise number three. This one, and it says here, it's a fairy. It's uh, not the elves, and here, it's a pig. Okay, uh, let's go on. Here there are uh, fun events. You can see people in old clothes playing ancient games, like a tug of war competition or a hat throwing competition. So in the picture you can't see much but this man is actually throwing a hat. So this is a hat throwing competition. And here you see these people pulling the rope and this is a tug of war competition. Okay, first uh, homework was very easy. Let's do something more challenging today. So if we're going to do this. I don't know if I have already done it in your class, maybe. It's a description of the differences you can see here. So um, you will find a copy of this picture in the, uh, in the um, register or in the email. I don't know. Well, I'll have to send it anyway. Uh, if you want to print it, okay, you can do it, but you can also do it with me. You can stop the film and then do the exercise as you like. So, but first let's look at the picture together. Um, so this is picture one and this is picture two. You can call it picture one or you can say first picture and this will be picture two or the second picture as you like. So, yeah. They are similar, but there are some, but some things are different. Yeah. So, but first, let's describe picture number one. You see, there are two pandas, and here, look at the people. Yeah. Yeah. I've done this video with class three. Maybe you've seen it in my um, YouTube channel. You can, of course, have a look at all my lessons for class one, class two, class five, whatever. Yeah. And here there are two boys, there's a man, here there's a girl, and here there's a woman. Yeah, you can look how, uh, what they are wearing, um, what animals there are here, and the positions. Okay, so then in picture two, let's have a look. You see the animals are different. Here, yeah. they are two kangaroos. Now the people, look, are there as many people as in picture one? I don't think so. Here there's a boy, a man, 
a girl, and that's it. Uh, what are they wearing? Maybe uh, they're wearing different things. And here there's the woman. Look on the head. On the woman's head, there's no hat. Okay. Now you've got the both both pictures, and you can see them. Okay. Very easy. There are five differences, but you, I want you to describe them using the words I said. So, in picture one, there are. But in picture two, there are. Okay, and this is one of the differences. Then let's have a look. Oh yeah, the people, the people. In the first picture, there are two boys, but in the second picture, there is. Okay, then let's see, uh, let's look at the man. What's he wearing? In picture one, the man is wearing, what's this? But in picture two, the man is wearing this. And this is picture number th uh, difference number three. There's another difference. It's uh, different number four, which is the, well, the boy. You can also see the, the boy. Well, no, we said it. <laughs> the boy is not there. Okay. Uh, let's look at the woman. Let's look at the woman. You see? Yeah. In the first picture, the woman is wearing a but in the second picture, the woman is not wearing a hat. Okay. Last difference. Look at these. Yeah. Yeah, the trees are different, aren't they? So, in picture one, the trees are, let's see, tall, tall, tall. But in picture two, the trees are short. Okay, yeah, so what is the homework this time? This time, the homework will be, sorry, I have to take my... <laughs> My little uh, board will be a description of these uh, differences. Um, please make a description like this. You write a number, this one, and you say in picture one. Okay, so in picture one, blah 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 blah, but. In picture two, but in picture two, blah, 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 okay? So there is, there are, there isn't, there aren't, and remember the but, okay? It's not difficult, and it doesn't take a long time, you will see. Um, yeah, this is the picture, if you want. I will just show it nice. So, uh -huh. and you can now stop the film. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe so. Yeah, stop. Okay, so you have all the colors. Because if you print this picture, you won't see the colors of the, what are they, t shirts? Yeah, of the man's t shirts. This is green and this is yellow. You have to know that. And yeah, how about the boy? The boy is wearing the same things, isn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the same thing, same colors, but don't need the colors. The only color you need is actually this. This is green and this is yellow. And you'll have to write it down. So uh, next time I will show you the correct descriptions and then we'll do another uh, exercise like this if you like it um, okay if you want to write something to me 
I don't know, maybe you can write a comment on this video. I don't know, maybe. But anyway, that's the end of the second lesson. I hope you're having a good time. I forgot to ask you. How are you? <laughs> I hope you're fine. And I hope you're not getting bored at home. There's so much to do, actually. Yeah, you can play a lot and read and enjoy your time and relax. So, it's not so bad to, to be at home for a while with your family, isn't it? Okay, so uh, I have to go on my journey. I have to stop uh, in another class. You see here, there are all my stops, all my five classes. And so I have to go. I have to say bye-bye to you. So, this is the end of the second lesson. Bye-bye. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-